Inside Nike. Premieres February 12th on CNBC. Well, it all started with, with Nike. I mean, it's, um, they gave me an, an opportunity to, um, you know, be head to toe um, and pay me a, a contract I really did not deserve because I hadn't done anything on a professional level. I hadn't hit a golf ball yet. And quite frankly, I hadn't played well in any PGA Tour event. And, you know, F Phil Knight had uh, the confidence in me and to, you know, go ahead and, and you know, put that kind of money, you know, forward, which, you know, hadn't had never done been done before. And yeah, do I owe uh, loyalty to that? Yes, because they gave me an opportunity. Because um, with the money that I received, I was able to, able to go out there and just play and and not have to worry about making ends meet. I was I was very lucky. Not a lot of people, you know, have that opportunity. But um, Nike gave me that, and I will always be eternally grateful for that. We always dreamed that we could be number one. Every time we, you know, put our name on a product, it's the best product that we could do. How did a sneaker company transcend sport to become a cultural icon? Darren Ravel reports Inside Nike premieres February 12th on CNBC.